at 6 tonight, we're getting a new look at plans for a safer connection between West Ashley and downtown. It comes just days after a bicyclist was killed on the northbound side of the Ashley River Bridge. And there's a plan in the works to build something specifically for walkers and bikers. Our Caroline Belchunas is working for you with a look at the plans and the timeline. Caroline. A busy bridge in both directions. These bridges are not safe to walk or bike over. Um, some of us do it because we have to. Cyclists like Katie Zimmerman can't wait for a safer way to cross the Ashley River. It's not wide enough for two people to pass by each other, um, but it's sort of the only option unless you want to get in the lane of traffic, which to me is terrifying on these bridges. Katie is head of Charleston Moves. The organization has been working closely with the city on the Ashley River Crossing Project. City leaders shared some design renderings during a virtual meeting earlier today. And so it's an interesting um, progression of bridge design, if you will. You have the, the World War I bridge on the left. You have the Legree Bridge, which is a little bit more modern. And then you have our bridge to the, the Ashley River Crossing Bridge to the right. So it's an interesting progression in design there. While the actual design may change, the overall scope will not. There will be a, a path that will be on the road, but it will be separated um, along the marsh, so you have a lovely view. And then that'll get you to the bridge, this new separate bridge itself, which will be just below, just south of the existing bridges. More room to move. Katie calls the project a game changer in more ways than one. I believe it's going to be 18 feet wide, so wider than Wonders Way on the Ravenel Bridge, which we've all learned is not enough space because it's so popular. Um, so 18 feet, a lot of space, car-free space for people to walk and bike and use their motorized wheelchairs and everything else. Now the project also calls for improvements to three intersections so users can safely get to and from that bridge. Right now, it's expected to be done in June of 2025. City leaders say physical work on the Ashley River Crossing won't begin, though, until late 2022 or early 2023.